Alright, hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel for a speed build. So this house is called Sunny Palms Estate because it's a huge freaking house. <laughs> and I've said this before, when I build, I just, I have to go off of the inspiration. Like picture or house plan or something because, I mean, unless y'all want to watch me build boxes, I mean, I have to. And so I found this one because I was looking for a style house, kind of like this. I wanted to do something more modern. And I really wanted to build in Oasis Springs because it's my favorite place to build because I just I like the style houses that you can put there but anyways I filmed this house and I was like oh yes that looks very nice and of course it's not real life so it's the sims you have to tweak it here and there but for the most part oh my gosh I fell in love with this house and when I st okay I struggled a little bit with the exterior <laughs> and by the time I got inside I had to tweak a lot of things so some of it will be cut out so there's a space where I cut out when I go to the interior like in between the exterior and the interior because the roofing I could not <laughs> could not figure the roofing out and I hate roofing in The Sims 4 I think it's terrible <laughs> I hate it and I feel like it's a glitch that I had going on because I couldn't figure it out and normally I could figure it out and I just I could not get this problem to go away so as you'll see right there in the front over like down the downstairs part where that roof sticks out that ends up turning into a balcony at the front of the house so I mean it looks nice I love the way it turned out but ideally that was not my plan I just I could not figure it out <laughs> so yeah this house uh, was a kind of a hot mess and by the time I finally figured out the roofing finally figured out the layout of the house I got inside and I was like okay this house is huge <laughs> and um I kind of just did not have any inspiration so okay this house took me probably about a week to build because I would do a little at a time I don't know how some people can build all day long and just like complete a build in one night I can't do it I go in Insane. If it's a small house or like an apartment build, I can do it because it's small. It doesn't take a lot of time. Um, and maybe, you know what, I shouldn't make houses or build houses that are so big. But I just I have this habit. <laughs> I love family homes. And I really wanted to build like a big fancy house. So this one's kind of fancy. But I would definitely live here in real life. It just, it's, okay. It's very beautiful in the sense that the area it's in, it has a very nice backyard with a pool, as you'll see soon. But also, it's just the fact that it's a big house, clearly. It's a fancy house. I love the overlooking um, up area upstairs in the hallway where it overlooks the family room downstairs. I hang a beautiful, I think this part is actually cut out, but I did hang up a beautiful chandelier coming down from the top floor and you can see it from the bottom floor. There's a picture of it at the end. I just thought that was very fancy and very nice, but it is a very nice home and the thing is, is that I tried to make it look homey at the same time because have you ever been to somebody's house? Okay, they have a nice house. Clearly, it's nice. And you go inside their house and you're like, wow, this is a nice house. But then you just feel like you can't touch anything because if you touch something, you're either going to break it or get it dirty. And it's just not very homey feeling. That was not what I wanted to do with this house. I wanted to try to make it look lived in and homey at the same time. It being like a very nice house, like an upkept house. So I think I did a pretty good job with it. I tried my favorite part of this house. I really like the kitchen area, just specifically one part. <laughs> I really like, as you'll see soon when, it, when I get to the inside. I made a little tea bar over to the side because it was like a really spacious kitchen and I just thought that was really nice but aside from that I also love the backyard it's just it's got a pool and I think it's just because here in Alabama it's like 80 degrees outside now it's getting on up there and it's getting hot as hell um, and my apartments do have a pool I'm actually gonna go tomorrow I think me and my boyfriend are gonna go down there and try to like lay out and get some sun because I am going to the beach in two weeks and I am white as a ghost I have not been in the sun or like a tanning bed or anything because I'm scared of tanning beds now I used to get in tanning beds but I'm scared of them now but anyways that's another story for another time <laughs> anyways I just I've I want a pool <laughs> and I want to go swimming in a pool and I really really love how this backyard turned out it just looks so freaking good in Oasis Springs and you know what I've noticed in Oasis Springs there's not a lot of houses with pools and I mean obviously it's like the freaking desert right I'm sure it's hot as hell why doesn't these houses have pools and I think they look so nice on the lots with the green grass and then like the desert in the background Ugh. 
yes, I think it looks so nice. But anyways, yeah, so this house is, oh my gosh, how many bedrooms is it? It's master bedroom one two okay so it technically it's four bedrooms there is an office room that you could turn into a fifth bedroom um and you could just like move some of the office stuff upstairs there's a lot of different spaces to like incorporate the office stuff downstairs if you wanted to have like a fifth bedroom but ideally this is furnished for a four bedroom family um so yeah, i said i struggled starting the furnishing and I always do I always struggle when I get to the inside to start furnishing it takes me a minute to get the aesthetic and the style that I want to go with and so yeah I had to cut out a lot of me like changing my mind trying to figure out where I wanted to go with this house but once I start like furnishing it that's when like it starts to get fun for me it gets it comes to life and I start to you know imagine my sim family or a sim family that i could see living here and so for this house i just imagine obviously a wealthy family living here i imagine the dad maybe being a doctor or some sort um i gave him an office with like his degrees on the wall and i they are adults um i think that they are close to elders they've had kids at a later age because they were so busy working and going to school and just like you know making a living or whatever and then i imagine there are three kids one being a teenage daughter i furnished her room i think it's so cute it's so girly um but also she is the only one that doesn't have a balcony upstairs like she has a younger sister and um another younger brother but he's also a teenager their rooms as you'll see they have balconies and i felt like well okay the oldest like daughter should have a balcony but but she settled because she has her own ensuite bathroom which is what she wanted as a girl i get it i would want my own bathroom too so yeah her room is very very cute and then also she has a brother who is a teenager as well just a little bit younger than her but i love his room also it's kind of like a gaming room i see him being like very Okay, well, not, I wouldn't say, like, a gamer nerd, but he likes to play video games, okay? His room's pretty big, so he has his own little couch, his own little video game set up, but also, he's athletic. You'll see in his room, he's got a punching bag, he's got, like, sports signatures on, like, a jersey and stuff, so he's just your typical teenage boy. He likes to play video games, and he likes to play sports, and I really, really love the character of his bedroom. It's really nice, and then there's also a younger daughter. Her room is so cute. It's purple. It's got lots of toys in it but anyways yeah that's the family i imagine living here just the parents being very successful in life and you know they built this beautiful home and raised this beautiful family See, I think it'd be a fun little house to play in, a fun family family home. I really want to play in it. Every time I build a house, I'm like, I got to play in this. I want to play in it. I have built so many houses that I have not even got around to using yet. But anyways, yeah, this house is one of my favorites that I've built so far. And I think just because it's so big and I'm scared to death to build big houses like this because I'm like, I don't know how good this house is going to turn out. Like, I don't know, <laughs> is this going to turn out good? But I think... Okay, I think it turned out pretty good. I'm not I'm not tooting my own horn, but I kind of am. <laughs> Anyways, guys, how are y'all doing today? <laughs> it is currently a Friday morning that I'm doing this voiceover. And I'm drinking my coffee. I really just got up out of the bed. That's why I probably sound kind of like I'm still asleep. I'm not like completely fully energized. And I'm reclined on my little chair right here in the living room on the couch. And um, I'm watching Dr. Phil. Because who else loves to watch Dr. Phil? I love to watch Dr. Phil. Some of the stories on here are just like kind of crazy. But also like it makes me feel better about my problems. <laughs> That's terrible to see other people have problems. I'm like, well, dang, okay, I don't have it that bad. But yeah, guys, I've just been... I just dropped my mic. <laughs> I've been so stressed lately that I have literally broken out in hives. And they're all over my stomach. And I don't really know what they're from. But I'm assuming it's stress. Because I know you can break out and get hives from stress. But oh my god. Yeah. They just came out of nowhere about three days ago. And I haven't changed like any of my clothing stuff. Or you know body wash for it to be like an allergic reaction. I haven't really ate anything new. So not really sure. The only conclusion that I can come up to is where these freaking hives are coming from. Is just like stress. Stress. <laughs> Man, grow up, they said. It'd be fun, they said. Psych, boy, life is hard. It is so hard. Oh, gosh. And also, yeah, 
let me just talk about this real quick because I feel like, okay, aside from like the stress of life <laughs> and like financial stuff and just like being an adult is kind of hard. You're like in that in between stage, you know, I'm 22 years old. I feel like I should have my life together and I feel like I don't have it together at all. <laughs> Considering that I do have a job, I have my own apartment and I have my own car, I pay my own bills. Some people would consider that, you know, you're doing pretty good, you're responsible, but at the same time, I just... I feel so behind when I look around at other people, and I know I should not compare my life to other people's lives. Uh, you can't do that. I mean, everybody has their own time clock, but at the same time, like, I look around and I see all of my friends, like, getting married, and they have, like, a house, like, a nice house, and it doesn't seem like they're struggling to pay for it. They're not struggling financially like I am at the moment. <laughs> um... I don't know, it's just, it's hard to look around and see all that, and it's like, I'm ready to get married, my boyfriend needs to get on it, which I understand right now is not a good time, but it's just like, you know, you see everything that you want, everybody else is having kids, and I'm just like, okay, my turn, my turn, like, when is it my turn? And so I get, like, really stressed out, and I get bitter over it, and I don't mean to, but I just realize that, you know, that has been the issue lately, so I've been trying to be more positive and surround myself with more positivity. Um, that's why I mentioned like a few weeks ago, maybe like two weeks ago, that I was going to back off social media for a little bit just because social media can be a very toxic place. Okay, I love like my Twitter and everything now that I finally got a Twitter. I'm pretty new to Twitter since I started my YouTube channel. Um, I love my little Sim family and I love, you know, all the support in the community. I just, I love that community. That's like, that's where I get the most positivity from. But at the same time, they're was quite a little bit of drama going on and I'm not involved in it I don't, okay and I just I kept seeing it and it just I hate conflict I hate drama I hate seeing it I just I don't want to see it I don't even like to get on Facebook anymore because okay the only reason honestly I still get on Facebook is because my family's on there so every once in a while I'll share like pictures and updates I don't even really update my status that much anymore um, mostly I get on there and I just share memes and funny videos. That's my favorite. <laughs> but even then, like, you can get on, like, a funny video of a child just being funny and cute. Or just, like, anything. Anything funny. It doesn't matter what it is. You go through the comments. Don't go through the comments, people, because it'll just piss you off. You go through the comments and you're going to find somebody complaining about something. They're going to find a fault. They're going to find a flaw. They're going to find a way to judge the person who posted the video or somebody who agrees or disagrees with the video. And there is like fights and conflict in a freaking meme of a monkey eating a banana or something. I mean, seriously, people are so offended and so entitled in this freaking world that we live in now. It frustrates the hell out of me. It's just... It's ridiculous because you can have, just a little rant here, you can have an opinion, okay? Everybody is titled to their opinion. Yes, you are allowed to express your opinion. Yes, you have the freedom of speech. Yes, but at the same time, it's a freaking opinion over something. Why are you arguing over an opinion it's not a fact it's an opinion it's the way you think it's the way you were raised the way you feel why are you condemning and hating and being just terrible and just evil and mean to the person who disagrees with you i mean it's oh my god like if you are that person i'm sorry but just don't be that person because you are what's wrong with this world everybody complains about how terrible this world is and how people are so mean well it's because everybody's so entitled and opinionated they think that they're right oh my gosh that's one thing i can't stand it's like know-it-alls and people who are just in your face about things and just like if you don't agree with them just and there's so many things that are controversial in the world today, you know, like gun control and like religion and stuff like that. It's just, I mean, I have my opinions on it and I'm not afraid to say my opinions on it. But at the same time, I'm not going to argue with somebody. If somebody says, I disagree with you, you're blah, blah, blah. And they start calling my name. Just like, okay, well, that's how you feel. But that doesn't change how I feel. I mean, it's an opinion. You're not going to change how I feel by telling me how you feel. I mean, pfft. Seriously, <laughs> it's not a fact. It's an opinion. So, gosh, I don't understand. <laughs> Anyways, that's why I kind of, when I get to this point where I'm just stressing out and I'm, you know, wanting more and confused about life. And it's just, it's, it's not easy or it's not good, positive to get on social media and see a bunch of like ranting and raving and just division. And it just, it's terrible. So, sometimes I have to back off and take a break and 
I've been trying to do that just because I feel like I'm just in this place in my life where it's like I'm making these big decisions and trying to figure out what's next. Like, you know, I'm growing up and it sucks. I just wish that I could be a little kid again. Honestly, I really, really do. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Yeah, wow. That was a rant. Look at me. I'm going 15 minutes. Holy crap. I'm doing good. Usually, I, I struggle with my voice um, voiceovers because I'm like, what am I going to talk about? Well, okay, keynote, I'm just going to rant from now on. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, guys, on another note, um, I think I mentioned a second ago, I think, that I was going to the beach in two weeks. One of my friends is getting married. <laughs> One of my really good friends from high school, and she's having her bachelorette party at the beach. And, y'all, I'm scared. I don't want to go. Like, I want to go. I think it's going to be so much fun. But at the same time, I'm uncomfortable going because I need to go to the gym and I need to work out. Oh, my God. It's it's bad. Like, I'm just so insecure about the weight I've gained. And it's a problem. I know it's a simple solution. Go to the gym. Lay off the freaking sodas and stuff, Carissa. But at the same time, I'm a, you know, we're creatures of habit. And I have a habit. And I can't break it. It's hard. So, if any of you guys are like into the healthy lifestyle, please comment down below some tips on how you gave certain things up and how you got started. Because here's my thing. I think I've mentioned this before in another like speed build, but like I know weight is also like, a controversial thing. I could say, oh, I've gained so much weight or I'm not happy with the way I look. And some of you may have seen pictures of me and say, are you freaking serious? You're not, uh, are you insulting me because I'm bigger than you? Okay, don't get it twisted. That's not what I'm doing. That's not at all what I'm saying. I'm just saying for me, and my height, I am considered overweight, and I've gained, and I'm short, okay, I'm short, I'm 5'2", and I'm used to being this one weight, and being healthy at one point, and being, like, pretty much in shape, and then when I gained 5 pounds, I've gained 10 pounds, which probably you're like, really, really 10 pounds, but, like, 10 pounds on me is, like, 20 pounds, and all my short girls out there, you know what I'm talking about, when you're short, and you gain 5 pounds, everybody can tell, everybody can notice it, because you're short, you're compact, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna bulge out over your pants a little bit more, rather than when you're tall, and you just, it has, you have more room to fill out, like, when a short person fills out, it's not, flattering sometimes it's just obvious and I don't know I just I haven't like went up the size of my clothes yet but I'm at that point where okay I've got to change or I will be going up a size and I can't afford what I can't afford a new wardrobe too it's just I know aside from me feeling uncomfortable and unhappy and you know with my body and my weight and at this time it's also more more than anything just the health and the how I way I feel because you know, when you're healthy and you're eating healthy and you're working out, your body feels good. You feel good. Trust me, I've been there. Believe it or not, I'm talking about how out of shape I am. Two years ago, I was in shape. I had, I was, I was doing pretty freaking good. I had some muscle going on. I was so proud of myself. I went to the gym like every day for like a year and I could see the difference. But then I got sick, got out of the habit of going to the gym, stopped going, gained weight back. And it's just, it's very hard to start. Even when I was working out before, it was hard to start because cardio hurts <laughs> when you're out of breath and you're out of shape it freaking hurts and it's not fun to get started but once you get started and you start seeing the results you start feeling better it encourages you and pushes you to keep going so i know i know i can do it it's just oh my gosh i just i don't feel like it <laughs> it's terrible like i go to work and I sit around all day and then I come home and I don't want to do anything. I cook and clean up around the house, but then I want to watch TV. I want to play this. Hits. I want to sit down and chill out. I've been at work all day. I don't want to go work out at the gym. <laughs> I don't want to do anything. And I sure as heck don't, I can't, I'm not a morning person. I can't get up at like four o'clock, five o'clock in the morning before work and go to the gym. I just can't. So I've got to figure out what I'm going to do. But for real, um, anybody that has struggled with this and you got that motivation to keep going or, you, you know, what kind of workout do y'all do what do y'all eat what's helped y'all please help a sister out because I, I mean i just i've got to do it nobody can make you do it but at the same time like just help me encourage me tell me it's gonna be okay it's gonna be worth it because my goodness i think it's got a lot to do with just the stress that i'm going through too you know like i've been going through a lot of stress and anxiety and i'll get going in these like little pits of depression where i just i don't want to do anything and i think that's a lot to do with why i haven't taken that step or taken that step to you know get healthy, get healthy, and make myself feel better, and look good, and stuff, so, yeah, 
I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just ranting and raving, so I hope you guys don't mind. Because in the last video, I said, hey, I have some questions. And we're going to answer these questions. But today, I just felt like ranting and wait, raving. So, <laughs> I do have more questions to answer in my next speed build. But, yeah, other than that, <laughs> I hope y'all are enjoying this build so far. I haven't mentioned it <laughs> in a while. But, yeah. I think it's nice. See, I really like the bathrooms too because usually when I build houses, they're not this big, right? And so the bathrooms are pretty small. These bathrooms are big to where I could play around with them and I love how they turned out. They have like dimension to them, you know? So yeah, <laughs> I also, of course, furnish this house, you know, suitable for a cat or a dog. Um, I always try to do that, especially when I have the extra space, like at the bottom of the hallway downstairs, there was that little area of space. I was like, what can I do with this? Oh, well, let's just add some animals to the household. It'll be fine. <laughs> and also in the hallway upstairs, I put a little study area, which I think is really cute because, you know, obviously these parents are rich. They're successful. I can just imagine them, you know, wanting their kids to be just as successful and really do great in school so I gave them a little study area there's like book bags and stuff on the floor I think it's really nice I just I tried really hard to make it look homey in the same way that it is a very big fancy kind of house I don't know I think it turned out nice it's very inviting I would love to live in this house I would come over to your house and feel very comfortable if you lived in a house like this but honestly goals this house is goals it is just so freaking pretty and like modern looking and i usually go more towards the traditional style houses i think it's because i live down here in the south and there's not a lot of modern houses at all if there is a modern house this sticks out like a sore thumb okay so there is a modern house i see it every day on my way to work I work at a hospital and there's like an area, you know how like every county or every city has like their areas. Well, this is kind of like the richy area of, um, you know, where I live. And um, it's called Spring Hill. It's called the village, the village of Spring Hill. Anyways, and it's, there's a hospital there. Um, but this is where all the doctors live, all the freaking like business people, the business owners, you know, the lawyers, just people with a lot of money they, they live you I mean it's just it's very nice like there's sidewalks and like down here in the south we don't have a lot of sidewalks where you see people walking on the side of the road but it's like a little village like really and people like jog and they're in shape and they've got their lives together and I have to see that every day <laughs> but anyways yeah and there's a modern house that I pass every day and it kind of looks like a like it's like an old house. You can tell it's like a, it was built like in the 70s or something where th maybe things were a little bit more modern then. I'm not really sure. But anyways, it's really cool. It's different. It stands out like a sore thumb, but I don't see a lot of modern houses, so I don't typically tend to build them a lot in The Sims 4. And I wouldn't even really call this one a modern house. It doesn't have the funky roofing, but at the same time, I tried to like make it more modern on the inside. I do plan on doing a legit like modern style house soon. It's going to be a little bit smaller than this though. I just, I want to mix up my building style and get better at building, you know, different things because modern homes are definitely outside of my comfort zone. So I want to get outside of my comfort zone when it comes to building just to continue getting better. But anyways guys, this video is about to be wrapping up shortly. I think all that's left is this here little um study area i talked about and then outside i put a few things out there but anyways guys there are pictures included at the end in just a few seconds <laughs> and also this house is available for download on the gallery there is no cc use yes i'm doing a lot better not using the cc just so you guys can access it to download it more easily but anyways it does use pretty much every pack in the game <laughs> so yeah Anyways, yeah. <laughs> what? Anyways, 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 that's, that's all I'm saying. I'm starting to get, like, tongue-tied here and flustered. But anyways, for real, I'm ending this part right now. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to y'all later.